Hi guys, um, this is a response video to Reggie on the Road um, and if you don't know his channel he does uh, very very short videos and he shows his tools and his uh, nuts and bolts and if you haven't if you you have not seen a nut and bolt collection unless you've seen Reggie on the Road because he, he, he has unbelievable amounts of nuts and bolts floor to ceiling meters and meters and meters and meters of bolts unbelievable anyway he said everybody in their garage has got the same old tools spanners wrenches c clamps etc etc he said show me what's unusual in your garage and i had to have a think about it because i don't really have anything that particularly unusual um he showed like an unusual uh what vi like a wine uh dispenser which plugs into i might a casket or a bottle and it was quite ornate um, which I don't really collect those sort of oddball things really. I'm pretty simple in my taste But I thought what have I got that's unusual and I thought about this now it might seem well what it's just a simple Simple uh, vice. What's so unusual about it? Well, what's unusual about it? It was made by a 15 year old boy for his school project and I thought and it's amazed me ever since um, I was on eBay um, and a one like um, a time capsule from like the 1890 to the 1905, 1905, 1910. And it was this guy was in his late 70s, maybe early 80s. And he, his, um, his um, a grandfather was a master joiner. Uh, I think he might have been a pattern maker. Um, so I bought, I won the whole tool chest and it's an absolute shame I wasn't on eBay at the time because if you would have saw what came out of that tool chest, it was just amazing. It was, it was, it hadn't been touched since the 1920s. There's been nothing added, nothing took away. It was amazing. Um, but that was times gone by. I'll show you some of the things what actually came out of it. Like, like, um, Diston handsaw screws from Philadelphia, USA. Um, you know the screws for the hand vice for the hand saws. I mean, unbelievable. You know little brass screws. So, yeah. I mean, and like um, replacement screws, like screw extractors, early um, you know, na you know, nineteenth century uh, screw extractor set, um, and I mean, a uh, a bit and square Stanley number forty four level. Um, these are some just a few of the things what came out of the actual toolbox. It was just amazing. Um, well, I said to the guy, I said, is there any other tools you have, what you would be willing to part? He said, well, I do have a few bits and bobs in my garage because I used to work on, I think it was um, um, Jaguars. He had, a, he had about 10 Jaguars, early Jaguars. And pictures all over the walls. So he showed me his garage, which was amazing. In fact, he had three garages, believe it or not. And he let me pick through his toys, uh, toys, tools. And um, I purchased, this was one of the things I picked out because so I fell in love with it. A little three inch King Dick. Um, and, 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 and I said to him, I said, and I found this. And I said, what's this? And he said, um, he said, um, he said, he said, I made that when I was at school for my school project. And I said, are you an engineer? He said, no, I'm a t I think I was a teacher for many years and a salesman as well. I think he was a salesman for something or another. So I said, you made it. And he said, yes, it's got my name underneath it. And that was his name, um, Ben. And it's the same name as me. And I thought, he's made that when he was 16 years old, 15 or 16 at school, at school he said as his school project. And I just thought, I was amazed by it. I mean, the screws with the brass jaws, I mean, he's never used it. It's like brand new, unless they're a replacement jaw. But I was just absolutely amazed that that was his school project. I mean, what I think, I mean, it runs absolutely like butter. And he's even inset the actual washers. So, that, I mean, I just think it's amazing and one day I'm going to mount this to something and use it because I mean it hasn't got a quick release but it's stunning I mean it needs an oil and a grease but it runs absolutely like butter and what 15 year old today really could make that I mean you you show me a 15 year old boy you could make that I bet the, there's not 10 in the country or five in the country what could even do that 
I mean, and that's why I think it's unusual. So um, it's only a small little thing, um, a three inch jaw, but it's beautiful. And I just thought, wow. I mean, his dad was a craftsman, his granddad was a craftsman. And even though he didn't work in that sector, he was a craftsman and he obviously restored his own vehicles. I mean, he didn't think much of this, so he obviously didn't have it in such high regard, but I certainly do, and I wouldn't part with this. I think it's one of my favorite tools. I mean, it's absolutely stunning. I mean, to, to, to machine that uh, for a school project is, well, for me, I just think it's amazing. So Reggie, it might not be unusual, but for the fact it was made by a 15 year old boy, I think it is. So, I mean, amazing. I mean, I couldn't believe it. So it was it was fantastic. I got loads of spanners, loads of tools off the guy. He was a very nice guy. I spent more than an hour and a half chatting to him. I was amazed at what he had done in, in his life and his grandparents and his fathers and, and everything. It was amazing. Um, so, yeah. So, Reggie, that's my response to you, my mate. Um, I think it's um, unusual and weird, but only because it wasn't made by a 55-year-old bloke. You know, it was made for a school project. So thanks for watching. Um, I appreciate anybody who's managed to stick on my dribble for this long. Um, and uh, thanks, Reggie, for your video. All right, if you've not checked out Reggie's channel, it's Reggie on the road. And uh, you haven't seen a nut and bolt collection unless you've seen his video. Um, it's quite something. And his chrome motorbike ain't bad either. All right, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe for more videos if you haven't already. All right, bye.